so, so, so. Look at me, posing in the camera. Look at me, posing, posing. Hi Jammers, I'm back with this super exciting video. It is a Bantu knot tutorial on my really short hair. This was really simple to do, so I hope you all enjoy it. Please comment down below after you watch this video and give me any feedback you have. Also, give this video a thumbs up when you're done and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. So that means, hey new Jammers. To create Bantu knots on really short hair, you will need braiding hair and I'm using the Bobby Boss brand. This is their jumbo braid collection. This hair is 100% Kanakalon and I'm using the color one which is jet black if you can see through the bag. You do not have to use jet black hair. You can use whatever color you like. Work around your own personal style. You also do not have to use this same brand of hair. If you are relaxed, you can achieve these Bantu knots and they're gonna turn out awesome, trust me. If you are not relaxed and your hair is natural, don't be worried. I use this same texture hair and they turned out perfect. I love them so much. If you are not comfortable using that straighter texture hair, you can use Marley hair, kinky braiding hair, and that's gonna mimic more of a natural hair texture. You also need some scissors to cut this in half because the hair is pretty long. And if you want, you can have some gel or some kind of edge control to, you know, fix up your baby hairs. Once you take the hair out of the package, you'll see that there is a rubber band right in the middle and that splits the hair already into half. So that makes it really easy for us. Hold where the rubber band is, take your scissors and just cut the hair in half. All right. Once your hair is cut into half, you now want to start fraying out the ends because you see how the ends are really blunt. You're gonna wanna start picking it just like that to fray it out a little bit. Keep pulling the hair at the bottom until you see that it is starting to become more of an even flow and most of the bluntness is gone. You can see that the end of the hair is no longer blunt. It has more of a tapered look and it gets skinnier and skinnier towards the end and that is exactly what we want. Now it's time to select the size you want your Bantu knots to be. So I'm gonna select about this much thickness for each Bantu knot. If your hair is smaller, of course use smaller strands of hair. If your Bantu knots are bigger, use bigger strands of hair. My hair is parted into four sections in the front. I have one, two, three, and four. Grab your gel or your edge control, and I'm using a toothbrush. You can use your fingers or a bigger brush. Grab a little bit of your gel onto your toothbrush, and then just lay down your edges just like that. Once you have that done, you can also twist your hair if that makes it more manageable for you. You can also do a two strand twist. The next step is to create a loop. Wrap the hair around two fingers and pull one strand through that hole until it creates a loop. Once you have created your loop, it is now time to attach it to your natural hair. So I have my thumb, index, and middle finger in between the center of that loop. I'm gonna grab my natural hair and place it right in between the center of that loop and pull both strands of the extension hair. I'm pulling it really tightly because my hair is short and I don't want it to slip off. You can also grab your own natural hair and give it a little bit of a pull and it'll make it even more secure. Once you have it as tight as you would like, grab both extension hairs and your own natural hair and start twisting it, twining it, and making it even more secure. Once it feels tight enough, you twist it around just like so, in this motion. And keep twisting, twisting, around until you run out of hair. And there you go. We have just created our first Bantu knot. And you just repeat your same steps. Add your gel. Twist your hair if you want it to be more manageable. Have your loop ready and attach it to your hair. 
pull both strands tightly and then twine all three pieces together. Once it's tight enough, start wrapping it around. And there you go. This is what it looks like when it is all done. I love it so much. I'm gonna give you all a 360. Seriously, I am in love with this hairstyle. It was so easy to do. I used one and a half pack of hair. You probably can use one pack depending on what brand you use. I even got so many compliments when I went out in public. People actually thought this was my real hair and I was like, what? You think this is all me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, any comments, please just comment down below. I love hearing the feedback from you all. Please give it a thumbs up for me. And also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed. You can also check out some of my other videos if you want to too, if you want to see a little bit more of this girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye dreamers.